So here's the question. Have you started that new diet yet that you swore would jumpstart your New Year's resolution to lose weight? Believe it or not, there's a new diet craze out there that puts the emphasis on faith, not food. Laura Engel reports. When Tamara Fisher failed Jenny Craig and Body for Life couldn't cut it, she turned to a higher power. No, not Richard Simmons, but God. We'll show you if it worked in a minute, because she's not alone. Books like Fit for God, The Maker's Diet, and What Would Jesus Eat have helped to make Christian diets a million-dollar industry. One of the most widespread is the Christian weight loss program called First Place. It entails coming to a meeting for 13 weeks for an hour and 15 minutes each week. Carol Lewis is the national director. Our program just includes a healthy diet, exercise, Bible study, scripture reading, uh, scripture memory. We don't just deal with the physical, we deal with the mental, emotional, spiritual, and physical. Weekly meetings are part food education class, part support group, and part Bible study. Amen. 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 What I was fascinated by is the support system of the diet. Namely, people in the community, people in church, all try to help each other. Dr. Stuart Fisher is a weight loss specialist. What you're doing is being validated and observed by other people. And that, as far as I am concerned, is the only way to change bodies and minds. First place started in 1981 at Mega Church First Baptist of Houston when the faithful decided they wanted to shed some pounds. They found success and began singing the praises of this divine diet. It's now in over 12,000 churches. When I was a kid, I always thought a size 10 was like the perfect size. Two years ago, when Tamara was 290 pounds, she decided to turn to first place. Initially, I didn't think it would work. This is Tamara Fisher now. How much approximately did you? I've lost about 140 pounds. When you lose weight or you're doing a diet, you can kind of hide from your husband and grab your Snickers bar behind his back. You can't do that to God. You know, he knows. Okay, so here are the okay. pants. <laughs> wow. These are a size 28, and I was saying earlier that um, these, these were actually tied on me, and that's why they're ripped right here. Fighting the temptation of sinful snacks, snacks was things. easier for Tamara, believing she had the help of God. And when you're tempted for ice cream, fried chicken, <laughs> cookies, right. you pray. I pray. It was just really relying on not my willpower anymore, but his. This svelte mother of four is now enjoying a whole new lifestyle. I went on a plane and there were men that jumped out of their seat to grab my bags and put them up for me. And I was just like, whoa, you guys are so nice. <laughs> I was like, I thought chivalry was dead. Tamara isn't the only one in her family who's achieved first place success. Her husband, Kevin, has lost over 100 pounds. I think it's up and coming. It may be the next big thing for people that are looking for that difference, you know, that, that change that's not just about them, about the weight part of it, but about their entire life. And this will definitely do that for them. Laura joins me now from Dallas. You know, I believe that anybody who believes in something, their belief in and of itself makes it or can help make it come true. Absolutely, and Tamara is a great example of that, and she says that by turning to God for willpower, going to a higher power, if you will, for that help is what was key for her, and the support group at the church is something that has really helped her and others as well. And we have some terrific footage. We have even more of it and photos that we took at Tamara's house. You can check that out on our blog at the website at heraldoatlarge.com. Laura, thanks. Still ahead, a sick diary.